I remember me and this girl were doing the Jubal's Tango. And out of nowhere, my eggplant just broke. I have no idea how it happened, but I'm going to say this. It hurt a lot. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another really embarrassing and crazy story. So this story all takes place back when I was in high school, and this was my grade 12 year. Now, in grade 12, I should mention, this was the point in time where I've done a lot of the Jubal's Tango. Like, no joke, I was the ultimate player known to man, and I think at this time in my grade 12 year, my body count was already, like, above like 80 something and i'm gonna say this it was a really really bad thing don't get me wrong on this channel i talk a lot about me doing the duvels tango but in no way do i mean this as a flex i'm just saying it's not a good idea going on with the story though i remember in my grade 12 year there was one time where basically i ended up going to this party now this party was just one of those grade 12 parties that you know people would go to when you know it's near graduation time and everyone's trying to keep the relevancy for the end of the year to make sure people still remember them after high school me i actually never ended up hosting one of these parties but hey honestly i don't think i need a party to make myself feel relevant after doing like 80 percent of the girls in my high school but going on with the story i remember i was in this party just hanging out walking around with some of my friends and i don't know where this girl ends up walking up to me she walks up to me and she says to me hey bubba what are you doing right now uh, i'm just hanging out why what's going on oh well like there's a girl here and like i think she knows you but like she wants to meet you is it cool if she meets you uh yeah sure let's go meet her i remember i ended up walking up to this group of girls that were basically all like in a circle talking about me and i walked up to them saying Saying, hey, like, what's going on? Oh my goodness. Hi, Bubba. Uh, I was just curious. So, like, you know, like, that girl that you were hanging out with last week? Uh, yeah, what about her? Well, I don't know. She says, like, you're, like, the master of, like, you know, doing it and stuff. So, I was just wondering, like, are you, like, really rough? At that moment, I didn't really know what to say because, well, to be honest, I don't really talk about, like, you know, doing the Duvel's Tango in public places. Like, yeah, I get it. You know, I tell stories about it on the internet all the time. But, like, in public, in person, like, you got to admit, it's kind of awkward. So, I ended up looking at these girls saying oh uh, i mean like yeah i guess i'm a professional doing the duvel's tango and they all started laughing and giggling except for one girl that was in that group this one girl she was like all tatted up and she was like really like menacing looking like she literally looked like one of those emo girls you would normally see on the internet and she looks at me saying um i'm not gonna lie baba i think you're like super easy like you're probably like super vanilla wait what at this moment i didn't really know what the term of being vanilla is and trust me when i say this it's nothing that anyone needs to know but at this moment, I remember I basically like ended up talking with this girl and stuff. And then me and her, we ended up going to another room and we started talking about more about doing the Duvel's Tango. We didn't end up doing it, but let's just say this girl was into some majorly weird stuff to the point where I'm not going to lie. If I was the dude in the room with her, I'd probably worry for my safety. But then one thing led to another. I ended up adding her on my social media accounts. And well, let's just say the next day at school, when I saw her again, things got really, really awkward because I remember the next day came around and I ended up walking into school and I had my backpack and everything and right away I ended up seeing this girl come up behind me grab me from my backpack handle and pull me onto the ground she ends up doing that and says Bubba honestly I think me and you we need to have a discussion uh discussion about what like you just pulled me onto the ground well like I think we need to talk and as she was saying that she was getting closer and closer to me to the point where I actually felt super uncomfortable so I stood up right away and said yo listen like you need to calm down okay like I'll talk to you later but like I gotta get to class and that's what I did I went inside my classroom but as i was walking on the way there one of my friends that was like close homies of mine ended up coming up behind me and i got kind of like traumatized from the last moment so i ended up turning around right away and my friend's like yo bro chill it's just me man i saw what happened back there who is that girl i don't know bro just some girl that's like really into me i guess i don't really know well bro i mean like she's kind of hot why don't you go for it it's not like you to not go for girls well i don't know she's kind of like weird and stuff and like bro if you heard what she was telling me at the party i'm not gonna lie i don't think you would want to be with her either at that moment like he he started laughing kind of and me and him we kind of just ended up walking into class and doing our basic schoolwork. but what ended up happening next really made me realize that some girls are just not meant to be with you because i remember after school came around and after school that day i ended up walking towards my car and as i was walking towards my car i saw a note that was left on the car and i picked it up and it said bubba meet me at the park at 7 30 i need you to pick me up for something at that moment i saw that and i didn't really know what to do or what to think because usually when people leave notes on your car it's usually a ticket for something or basically you know getting in trouble but this girl was i guess leaving a message about me needing to pick her up at like seven at the park so i said whatever and decided to go do it was it a smart decision to do it well probably not but to be honest i always go through life saying yes to things even though it probably leads me to the worst places ever but i remember later that day i ended up going home and dropping off my bag and stuff at home and i ended up getting right back into my car and driving straight to dinner i went and ate dinner with some of my friends and then afterwards one of my friends was saying yo 
Bubba, after this, we're all going back to my place. Do you want to come? Uh, sorry, man. I got plans. Wait, what? You got plans? With who? Uh, to be honest, bro, I don't really even know. At that moment, all my friends ended up looking at me and kind of realizing that I probably had like another Duel's Tango session to go to. But in my mind, I didn't really know what was going to happen. Until I remember, I ended up getting inside my car. I drove over to the park that I was supposed to meet the girl at. And once I got there, I am not joking. There was a girl dressed in all black, the same girl that pulled me down in school. And I am not joking. I was almost about to turn around until she noticed my car and started waving her hand saying, Bubba, over here, park over here, pick me up. So I ended up picking her up and me and her, we ended up sitting in the car together, driving down a couple roads. And she looked at me saying, uh, Bubba, I have a question. Uh, yeah, what's up? Well, like, are we going to my place or yours? At that moment, I didn't really know what this girl wanted, but I was almost 99% sure that she wanted to do the Duvel's Tango. So I remember me and her, we ended up going to her place and she ended up living in like this basement suite with like two of her roommates and both of her roommates were like super also emo like really emo to the point where i'm not gonna lie it just felt really weird being there and then one thing led to another i ended up going into this girl's bedroom and yeah i'm not gonna lie we ended up doing the devil's tango but i remember in the middle of doing the devil's tango i am not joking when i say this she ended up basically doing this thing where she ended up like belly flopping onto my eggplant and i am not joking i think she ended up actually breaking my eggplant like no joke i guess she landed on it the wrong way but she basically landed on it and to the point where it like twisted and i'm not gonna get into detail because of monetization reasons but she broke my eggplant i remember i started screaming saying ouch oh my goodness that hurts and she looks at me saying oh baba can you not handle it handle it i think you broke it at that moment i ended up basically getting up and leaving because i just felt so uncomfortable and this girl got really mad that i just straight up left but i remember as i was in the car looking between my legs i realized that i was in major pain to the point where i actually ended up going to the hospital and i remember when i got there i'm just holding on to my eggplant kind of like you know really in pain and i sit down in the waiting room and 10 minutes later a girl doctor walks out says uh bubba i'm here to see bubba next so i get up while my hands in my pants i walk into her office and i sit down and say yeah so i kind of got into a really weird accident i don't really want to talk about it but i'm in major pain this doctor ends up looking at me and she says <laughs> wait what are you talking about and at that moment i ended up pulling my pants down and yeah let's just say there was like a major bruise on there and she ended up i guess kind of laughing but at the same time trying to keep it professional and when one thing led to another she told me just to take some pain relievers and yeah that's basically what happened but the fact that i ended up going to the hospital because this girl basically broke my eggplant was crazy like i couldn't do the devil's tango for like another two weeks since that situation happened and i couldn't even beat my meat bro like it was actually one of the most craziest things ever but tell me this have you guys ever broke your eggplant because if you guys have then fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one peace out guys